Hey guys, my name is Sean Owens, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install a gate. So after I did the split rail fence video, I had a lot of people reaching out to me and asking me how I actually built the gates. Uh, I know they're already built, but it might be easier in the video for you to actually see what the finished product looks like and if you want to actually go with that style or not. But uh, either way, I will walk you through it and show you exactly how I did it. All right, really simple materialist. All you're gonna need are three two by four by eights, four one by four by eights, two gate hinges, and your latch. And all the wood has to be pressure treated because it's outside. All right, so the first step is knowing exactly what size the gate needs to be. So in my case, we have a 48 inch opening, 48 here, and I want you to measure the top and the bottom just in case there's any differences in size. Both of these are 48. So if your opening is 48, I want you to subtract an inch from that and that's what size the width of your gate is going to be. So in my case, it's going to be 47, which is exactly what I built the gate to. So these horizontal two by fours right in here, these are going to be your 47. So this is the first thing that you're going to cut. All right, so now that we have our width, now we need our height. So with this specific design, I always like the end uh, pickets to be flush with the top of the post. Uh, in my case, the post is 44 inches tall. And I like to leave about like three inches off of the ground, which means my two end pickets are gonna be cut to 41 inches. All right, so now that we have all our sizes here, what we're gonna do is start laying everything out. So before I mentioned, your horizontal two by fours are gonna be 47 inches to fit the space. Your pickets are gonna be 41 inches. You got that right here. Now, what you wanna do now is lay this down on a flat surface. You have your two horizontal two by fours here. Um, and this is all, you know, personal preference. This is the style, you can, you know, alter these sizes, but if you wanna make exactly what, what I did, you measure down three inches Take your speed square, draw a line over, and I want you to nail your end pickets onto the horizontal two by fours. And I did three inches here and about two inches right in here. And once you do that, it'll form an actual square. So that is gonna be the base of your gate. All right, so the next part could be a little tricky with the math, um, but here's what we're looking at. So we have our two end pickets and our horizontal two by fours, and we wanna know the spacing uh, for these middle pickets. So what you wanna do, measure the distance in between the two end pickets. So we have 40 inches, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six pickets at three and a half inches each. Six times three and a half is 21. So if you compact all these together, you're gonna to have 21 inches of material. So what you wanna do now, is the 40 inches that we got before, subtract 21 inches from 40, which turns out to 19, and then we want to divide that by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So 19 divided by seven comes out to two and 11 sixteenths, and that is exactly what we got here. Uh, it's a little bit uh, less than two and three quarters. So what I want you to do is lay out the spacing on the horizontal two by fours of where your uh, middle pickets are actually gonna go. All right, now that you have your layout drawn out exactly where your middle pickets are gonna go, I want you to decide if you're gonna do kind of like this arch gate or if you wanna go straight across. Um, if it's straight across, it's pretty self-explanatory, just cut them all the same. Uh, what I did here is I went up, uh, I think it was an inch and a half, yeah. So I went up an inch and a half each one. So this is gonna be an inch and a half taller than this one. So you keep going up. The two middle ones, um, I actually like doing the same exact size so it doesn't look like it comes to like a little point. Um, it's just like a little more gradual, um, but that's you know my personal preference. So decide what you wanna do there and uh, cut them to that length. All right, now that you have everything laid out, all your pickets are cut, I want you to start nailing them on. So you already have the first two nailed on, and what I want you to do is take a straight edge at the bottom 
to make sure they all line up. You could do a two by four, um, you know, anything, a four foot level, anything just to make it so when you bring these pickets down, they're perfectly in line at the bottom. And what I want you to do is take a pneumatic stapler and uh, I used uh, inch and a half nails. Uh, these are um, three quarter inch pickets and then uh, inch and a half two by four so you don't have to worry about it coming through the other side. Um, you can use inch and three quarters, that'll work too. Um, but what you wanna do is, I don't know if you can see from the video here, what I did on each picket, I did four staples here, four staples here, same thing on the bottom. So nail all those on. So pretty much what you're looking at, you're gonna have this exact setup minus the cross beams here, which I'm gonna show you in the next step. All right, so the next step is to add in these cross pieces. So what you should be looking at now is you have your two horizontal two by fours, all your pickets are nailed on, so everything's good to go. Uh, what I want you to do is lay the gate down this way with the two by fours facing up. And I want you to take your uh, two by four that you have now, and I want you to lay it across the gate, just like this, obviously this is just a little scrap, but it's just to show you that what you wanna do, you wanna make a mark right here and right here on your scrap piece. So what I would do right there, right there, take your speed square, Transfer it to the front. So you have that mark and that mark. So you have right here and here. What I want to do now is I want you to cut that angle right here. So when that slips up, it's going to go right up tight to there. And then what I want you to do is pre drill a three and a half inch deck mate. So after it's all cut and in, this actually lays flat on the pickets just like this and i want you to pre-drill the deck mate the deck mate's going to go right up through here and same thing on the bottom pre-drill and run the deck mate in all right so after you screw this first cross piece in next step is to put this second one in it's the same exact concept on the top and the bottom but the only difference is as you lay this out i want you to do your marks here the at the top and at the bottom and also you're going to do um, two extra cuts here so you're going to mark right here right in here and then there and there right where it intersects with this other two by four and i want you to cut that piece in and uh, an another uh, tip what i want you to do when you have that full two by four laying down i want you to trace lines exactly where it crosses so after you cut the small little pieces you know exactly where they go and where they're supposed to line up when they uh, run across. All right, so last step to actually building the gate itself is to throw a staple wherever you see the cross beam intersect with one of the pickets. And I want you to do four. So you got two, four, six, eight, and just go right down the line on both cross beams. And um, just double check, make sure you have enough staples in your original uh, horizontal two by fours. All right, so now it's time to actually install the gate. I mentioned earlier that we're gonna leave the gate about three inches up off the ground, and our end pickets are gonna be flush with the top of the post. So what I want you to do is grab a couple two by four scraps, shims, anything just to kind of bring that gate up. And uh, I also mentioned earlier that there's gonna be a half inch gap on each side, uh, enough room to make sure that the gate itself doesn't rub against the four by four posts on each end. Uh, so once you set it down, you throw a level right on the top horizontal 2x4. Make sure you're happy with everything. Make sure the spacing is good. Then I want you to take the gate hinge, center it with the 2x4 right in here. And I want you to pre-drill every hole here and throw your screws in. Do that on the top and the bottom. And once that's all set, check the swing. Make sure you're happy with that. And then we're going to install the latch and that's it. So the last step is installing the latch. One really important thing to note here is make sure this section, when you close the gate, that it lands right in the middle here. So if you do that, you're not gonna have any issues and you'll be good to go. All right guys, well that's the end of the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, just hit the like and subscribe button and I will see you next time.